Welcome back to Dem Spiking Adventures. Today we're back in Millbrook, just out for a bit of a ride. Beautiful sunny day. Along this stretch, we're just uh, the stretch that goes along the stock ponds. Go up here, we'll go alongside of another pond here. Let me follow the trail to the left. Starting to get overgrown on the sides a little bit, but uh, nothing too severe. And on the right is the, uh, the other pond. Here's where we enter the woods, and uh, it's straight uphill from here. A little bit of a climb. It's always, uh, it's not a bad climb though, it's not super steep. It's just uh, a little lengthy, but uh, it's in amongst the trees here, and it's usually pretty, a little bit cooler. And uh, not a bad climb. As you can see, it seems to, you know, it goes up a, a fair ways. Um, I don't know what degree it is, but, uh, it's just a nice steady climb. Definitely, uh, being at the beginning of the rise, definitely, uh, one way to, uh, wake the, wake the legs up. The only one thing that uh, sometimes I don't like about this uh, climb is you get up to where uh, where it looks like it's the top here, and it's actually just a uh, little bit of a down, but kind of a flat platform before you actually start heading up some more. Um, so I'll say it's a it's a decent climb. Get the heart going, like I said, definitely a good leg warm up on this. So just a little bit of a climb over some roots here from uh, the trees and that, just a few roots. At this point, you're almost at the at the top where it drops down. And you can see the very top of it right there now. And here's where the bypass comes out, so you can bypass that hill. But here we'll drop down onto the uh, railway bed. So we just go down this little hill across the bridge. And we're on the railway bed. It'll take you up and along a little bit there. Yeah, so it's, it's uh, the railway bed you can take all the way down uh, significant ways. It'll go all the way down to the bottom of the backstage uh, where you get a gate and that'd be, that's the end of it. That's the edge of the uh, M&R property that these trails are based on. Often, if uh, you keep your eye on these trails, you often see uh, deer tracks. Coming across these trails, um, pretty much all these trails in uh, in Millbrook, I, uh, I've seen deer tracks on.
We're kind of just cruising along here. We just went past uh, the entrance to uh, Millie Vanilli. I think we went past the entrance. Yeah, so we did go past the entrance in Millie Vanilli. Um, we're actually going all the way down to the end where the uh, the gate is. And there we'll drop into uh, drop into Root Survival. As you go along, uh, get closer to uh, to Root Survival. If you go along this way, which is the uh, the railway bed, it does get a little overgrown. It's not a uh, heavily traveled uh, uh, trail, but it does. Uh, so it does get a little tight along the edges, but uh, it's not uh, not unpassable. And here we are coming up to the end where the gate is. And here's the gate. Uh, right hand side is backstage pass. Left hand side is route survival. And we're going to head down route survival here. It's not an extremely long trail. Now uh, this year has been fixed up a little bit. Um, but uh, route survival it is uh, rocky and it is rooty. Hence the name. Just go along here. Now the trail used to veer off to the right a little bit here, but, uh, but uh, looks like they've uh, decided to take it. Uh, Towards the left instead of going down to the right. Um, not sure what the logic is with that, but uh, or why they've done that. Could have been the trail was uh, way too roady and uh, it was easier to take it where it's a little more rideable. You can actually see on the right the uh, old trail. The old trail used to come out right there, and now we're back on the old trail. Comes down a little bit of roots. Gets real uh, rocky and rooty here, and that's the end of route survival for this year. So We just went down to uh, Melly Vanilla here. We're on the new trail. This uh, this trail was built for um, basically practicing, uh, mainly for uh, beginner level, uh, getting used to the pumping, a little bit of cornering, right? Uh, some very small punchy hills. Um, you can see the pumping right, right in there. A little bit of a climb. And uh, it's a quick little trail. I think it's only, you know, I think half a kilometer or something like that. It's nothing, uh, nothing huge. We're almost at the back end of it now where we turn around and go back. Here back. It's a Couple little hills, small, small little hills. A little bit of uh, pumping there. I like this uh, 
this uh, small little skinny uh, non-consequential if you roll off of it it's great for beginners and then a little bit of a little bit of a quick little hill climb with a uh, pop over a, a log that's notched out and then we're pretty much right at the back of the bin you can go right again and just go around it again or you can go straight which will which will take you out so now we're up uh, going up high plains drifter this is a great trail This uh, trail is uh, great as an alternate to the uh, metal climb, um, but it's also a really fun trail to uh, to come down as well. So the first half of this course, yeah, I'm going to say half of this climb, is through um, through planted pines. Um, you know, many days ago, there's a rider coming down it. So yeah, it's uh, through the planted pines, and then uh, eventually. Uh, there's a little bit of an opening, which we'll come up to, and I'll show you where that is, but I call it the transition area. And that's the area where it switches over from this, uh, you know, from these pines over to uh, hardwood forest. Um, yeah, but, and both, you know, both the, all of this is on the, you know, M&R property. Well, here we are, still climbing, getting towards uh, getting towards the end here. 
you can uh, see up a, up ahead there this uh, clearing. A little bit of a downhill here and then you go straight into a little bit of an uphill and uh, not extremely long but it's uh, fairly steep so this here is the transition area we just came out of the pine woods you can see ahead we're going into uh, going into hardwoods um, this little if you come back down this little drop here is a nice little drop to uh, pop off of, off of. So here we are entering into uh, the hardwoods. Great little climbing trail. I'm grabbing a drink here. So this trail uh, doesn't take terribly long. Trails one and a one point one kilometers long, I think. So it's not uh, not terribly long. But when uh, the majority of it is climbing, uh, you'll get into climbing. Uh, um, there's a couple of little switchbacks on the climb up here. And then a couple little fast sections, a couple of areas where even going up, uh, you can actually just pop off and get both wheels off the ground for a brief second. So here's a one little switch back. This one's not too bad. Uh, it's not uh, not very steep. It is up, but just not very steep afterwards. And there's a little area there to pop off of if you have enough speed. I didn't in this spot. And here is just a little slow climb. There we are, just another little switch back. And then we got uh, some little jumps and uh, or a little bit of, uh, you can pump these as well. Great, uh, great for coming down. I know uh, during the winter, uh, this is, just was taking my fat bike uh, down this trail and great trail for taking the fat bike down. You just gotta be careful on the switch back corners tend to fill uh, full of uh, ice. Um, so coming around those corners is uh, extremely tricky. Coming to the down, and then we go, uh, we'll come along here, it's a little bit of a steeper climb, and climbs you into a switchback, which is fairly steep. Um, with my shape and uh, energy, I unfortunately usually end up walking uh, part of it to the top so there you see it there it starts there and it cuts right around so here just pop off of there when you come down off that switch back you can roll around here pretty good hit those rocks enjoy the ride and you're slowly going uphill here so it uh, definitely slows down a little bit Just a, a little bit of a slow climb all the way around to the end.
so we reached the end and we're at the top here. We're just coming down a trail called the Itch. This is a great little trail for uh, uh, practicing your corners, getting a little bit of speed. Um, it's just a great little, great little trail. Here's the first corner, gain up a little bit of speed. Great, great uh, corners for practicing leaning on the bike and tilting on the bike to go around these corners. Here you got a little bit of an S corner coming up. Move to the left. I always slow down for this one. Uh, I cut back right to the right there, being a little tighter. Always slowed me down there. And you come along here and you really pick up speed. And I said just a few turns. You got one more turn before you drop into a little bit of downhill and really pick up speed, fly along. And that there's pretty much the itch. We go down to the end here where it meets High Plains Drifter and Backstage Pass and uh, the Metal Trail Climb. All trails uh, connect there. Those three trails anyways connect there. Here we're on our way back. There's that bridge. We're gonna climb this a little bit of a steep hill here. And we're gonna go to the trail to the left, which is the, I uh, believe the Grand Trunk Bypass. Um, people use it to, as an alternative for climbing up instead of coming up a big hill that we came up right when we started. Um, I like to go down it. Um, it takes you down. Um, it's a, it starts off as a, you know, not a bad smooth ride. Um, you start to uh, get into a little bit of a roots, a little bit of rocks, not too many rocks, just a few. Oh, there's a few routes along the way here. Um, I'm going to drop down into a little bit of a low section here that can sometimes get uh, a little swampy after uh, a few good rains. So this section gets a little bit rooty. And here it is, drops down in that little bit of a little bit of a wet section here. Nothing uh, too, too bad. Uh, early spring is real muddy. And drop down that, it's just a little bit of a climb out of it. And this section here, uh, getting near towards the end here, it gets uh, fairly uh, rocky and rooty. Lots of roofs to uh, to pop yourself over. Uh, you just got to keep your speed up, and uh, I find being above the bike and just keeping the speed up, it uh, usually pretty successful with it. There are a couple of root sections that uh, my tire has slipped out on me on right in here. Um, but here we come down, drop down where the uh, railway bridge is by the creek. Have to go there sometimes. And now we're going to be heading out uh, from the creek uh, towards this will actually take us towards the, uh, the ponds. You got the uh, one little bridge here. Um, often fairly soft in there, and then you're right into some roots here. I find uh, you keep it to the left and I go over most of them. And yeah, climb out of that. 
into a little bit of a soft area. Again, when it really rains, this area really gets soft and crowded. And you follow this down, I'll take you into another uh, another skinny that's uh, got a bit of length to it, and it's kind of nice. It's not terribly uh, skinny wise, I think it's foot and a half wide, so. maybe two feet at it max right so here it is here drop into that That's a nice little skinny to fall along and there we are we're approaching the ponds anyways so i'd like to uh thank you for watching um you know please like and subscribe uh the channel if you want to see more videos like this yeah, and here we are back out to the, the top pond. They'll take us back to the parking lot. Take care and thanks for watching.